Today we're going to be making these cookie cutters and it's not that hard so let's get started. So you might be thinking why can't I just do this? Now this is not the tutorial I'm just showing you an example of what most people think a, co a cookie cutter can be. And yes you can do this actually you can just duplicate this and then maybe uh, sh raise it up and then hit shift and scroll down make it a hole and there you go you group these together you've got a cookie cutter that's great but it only works for certain geometric shapes let's say you want to do um let's see a mustache well it doesn't work the same so let me show you what i mean by this i'm going to rotate this so it's flat i'm going to click the letter d and then i'm going to do the same thing i did with the star so i'm going to duplicate i'm going to raise this up I'm going to hit shift and shrink this down. I'm going to make it a hole and group. I want you to notice, notice that it's not cutting uniformly. Now the cookie cutter itself might work, but the, the outside doesn't look good. And that's part of what we're doing here. We're trying to make it look good. So how do we do that? Actually, let me keep the mustache and now we're going to begin to the tutorial. So here it is, right? The mustache. I'm going to move this down to just one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to export. Export as an SVG. This is very important. Because where is my cookie cutter? Save as cookie cutter. And I'm going to, sure, I'll just save it up there. Cookie cutter, save. All right. So now I'm going to import. I'm going to choose that. SVG. Open. And I'll keep the same dimensions, import. Now here's the important part. Now I can control a lot more of the features of this mustache. For example, I can make it an inner line and the quality can go up and we'll make this a one. So now, oh, I don't want it to be sharp. I want it to be rounded. So now we have the cookie cutter. Right now, if we want to do a little more fancy, I can duplicate this control D move it down to about two and then increase this to about, let's say three. What is that? What well, looks good here? Line width. and this is supposed to be going outside. So I need to say, oh, I forgot to change one aspect of it. I want it to be an outline. My bad. So there you go. I don't like the way that looks, but that is a basic cookie cutter. It's exporting as an SVG, bringing it back in, and now you can do this very easily. But let's say you're, you want to make a cookie cutter out of something that you, know, you don't have over here. Well, one thing you can do is do a search for a shaped chicken outline is, I believe what I did last time. I'm gonna right click, save image as, and this is gonna be saved usually, chicken outline as a PNG file, you're, yeah, let's replace it. Okay, and then I go to this website. Now I choose this one because it's pretty easy, it comes up. However, if you don't have access to this one, you can always search PNG to SVG convert and see what programs come up and use the one that you're more comfortable with. I'm gonna choose file, chicken outline PNG, and why isn't it showing up? It's messing everything up. Why are you doing this to me? Let's try it again. I think I'm, I need to sh uh, change it and save it as something else. How about chicken two? All right, save this chicken two. Choose chicken two, PNG. Oh, now, now it's there. Open, I'm gonna click two, image, SVG. Then, convert. Sorry, I forgot to press that red button. Shouldn't take very long, it's not a complicated image. And when it turns blue, I'm just gonna download it and then save it to the downloads file again. And then I'm gonna import it to Tinkercad, but apparently it's taking a while. Chicken two saved. There it is, Tinkercad, let's import it. Import, choose file, chicken two as an SVG, open. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing I did with the mustache. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna change this to an inner line, increase the quality, and then change that to one. That way we get a better line here. There it is. 
Now I'm going to duplicate this, control, control D, and then I'm going to shrink this to two. I'm going to make it an outline and it's going to be rounded and I'm going to change this to, now let's try two. Sometimes it takes a second while we're waiting. Let's change it to red. It just looks better that way. And there you go. You have made a cookie cutter. So now you found a way to do it within a shape uh, with a shape that's inside Tinkercad and a shape that's outside of Tinkercad. And there you go. Thanks for uh, watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day.